I do love it when you share. It shows that you care. Friends lists, home addresses, the names of family pets. I'll take it all. Eventually, I could have a full picture of you. I might even become you. Ellen is an open book. All her posts are public. That nice new car she got last summer. A couple of nights out with the girls. <laughs> her friends seem nice. She's certainly the life of the party. Oh, and a birthday party. <laughs> Little Johan's first birthday on the 2nd of February. Johan is a beautiful name. And Johan 22 is just the perfect password. And no two-step verification. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Now I'm in. And you're out. I wonder which of your friends would help if you needed money. Here's Diane. I bought her name and phone number a while ago. I do love a data breach. I just need the right bait. Oh, she's good. She doesn't share much, but her only daughter does. And she loves to show off her travel adventures. I wonder. Hi, Mum. We've been robbed. My phone was taken. Please text me on this number. Oh, no. Are you OK? Where are you? Kiss. We have a winner. We're still in Thailand. They took our money and bank cards too. We, we are, are talking, talking to, to the, the police, police now. now. Do you need me to send you money? Oh, <laughs> it shouldn't be this easy. This is the big one. Had Derek on the hook for a while. His email and passwords were leaked, which gave me a little peek into his business affairs. Most of it rather dull. But I've now got his name, number, the name of his bank. I even know when he checks his emails. I just need something to convince him. A payment notice from his clients should do it. <laughs> You'll want to stay for this one. First, to plant the seed. At approximately 9.15 a.m., Derek arrives at his desk to find an email waiting for him, informing him that he's been hacked. But that's just the start. Next comes the worried phone call from the bank. My bank voice is very convincing. I start by telling him there's been some unusual activity on the account. Then I ask the security questions. Name, address, and finally, that payment notice from his emails. A payment of £25,567. Can you tell me who it's for? I just need to give him enough truth to prove that I am the bank. Now I've got him. Time for the final piece. I just need his three-digit security code to confirm. No chance. Wait, what? Yeah, look, I'm not comfortable giving my code out over the phone. But sir, I need to confirm you are who you say you are. Yeah, look, sorry, I just don't think I trust you. I'll contact the bank directly, and then they can confirm whether you are who you say you are. Wait, sir, hold on, I... <sighs> I had a really good feeling about that one too. But, onwards and upwards. Okay, how is Diane getting on with my money? Your beloved daughter is still stranded in Thailand. Nice try. I've just spoken to my daughter, so I know you're a scammer. No, Mum, it is me. My phone was stolen. The, the other, other person, person is, is a scammer. scammer. I've reported your number to the police. Kiss. But, but Mum, I... Fine. Scratch another one off the list. Oh, joy. 
Ellen recovered her account. And then I got a sign in alert that I didn't recognize, so I was like, hold on a minute. So I followed the fraud advice on the alert and I managed to recover the account, thankfully. I changed my passwords. Two-step verification turned on. I definitely recommend that one. This is not very helpful, Ellen. So I'm me again now. Yay! <laughs> So just be mindful of what you post online. Use strong passwords and be vigilant. And double check people really are who they say they are, because you never know. Could be an imposter trying to rip you off. There are millions of people online. I live in a world where panic can push a person to make rash decisions. Every time you go online, you are in my world. I'm waiting for the people who don't pause, check, protect. Could this be you? <laughs> 